every time I, I climb into the F-35, you do feel like you're climbing into something futuristic. The ability to see everything that can be seen, the ability to look through the cockpit, uh, all of those technologies are superb. One example of how great uh, our sensors are, I'd point out in particular when I was doing an air-to-surface mission, so we are basically at 25 to 30,000 feet, and we're looking down at small targets like a, a shed and a grove of trees. Our optical sensor uh, is so good that you could see that little shed from very high, and it felt like you were in a helicopter hovering right above the shed. That's how clear the picture is. In the F-35, the airplane has the picture already because of our data link systems and how we transfer and process information. If you have two F-35s, that's like the power of having eight legacy aircraft. The F-35 is very survivable because of its stealth capability, electronic attack, but the other assets on the ground are also more survivable because of the F-35. An example would be, uh, let's take the F-35C in a, in a carrier battle group. So you have an aircraft carrier with nine ships around it, some submarines, big battle group out at sea. The F-35 can go over the horizon and detect and identify threats and understand what the battle space is. Because of that data link transfer of information, it's very good for the battle group as well. What stealth means is that basically you're invisible to radar. Uh, how we operate in a combat environment uh, nowadays is everything is based on radar detection. So if you're invisible to radar, then you're invisible to everyone. And so that is our primary um, advantage that we have over other aircraft. If they can't see us, but we can see them, then we'll have the first shot opportunity. So this airplane is, is very maneuverable, uh, both uh, at high speed and at very low speed, um, and it's very good at dogfighting. But what this airplane specializes in is killing the bad guy out at range, never having to get too close to him uh, to engage him. The difference between uh, an air-to-air -air engagement out at range and a fourth gen airplane is that the pilot is focused on his radar screen and he's operating his radar trying to get a contact, trying to get a hit that he can lock on. Um, in a fifth generation airplane like the F-35, the pilot's just sitting back and he sees all the contacts out there because the radar and the computers are doing all of that searching automatically for him. In the F-35, you just sit back and absorb the information, make decisions based on uh, what the other F-35 has not only gathered data-wise for you, but has um, computed and then presented to you very, very nicely.